this is my bathroom floor that I just self-leveled and I put foam around the toilet pipe as you will see and now what I want to do, I want to correct this area I want to talk about this uh, foam that I put here uh, in order to make a boundary to the, to the self-leveling here as you can see it excellent protection from the self-leveling going into the pipe so I just remove the foam from here as you can see how it looks like because I'm going to actually put here uh, not self-leveling we're going to put here a, a patch and I'll show you how I'm going to do it See, I'm actually using the Pro Select from Sika. Okay, that's a patching, it's excellent patching. You can see it here. And I'm going to patch this. You see that I actually put the self leveling here and I protect it with a foam so you can see the way it looks like. So, what I would like to do, I would like to patch it. And the way to do it is if you look at it here, you are taking a little bit of uh, patching material here and remember I cleaned it before when it's dry, it's very important ok, now I just patch it so remember you have to make it level level with this floor See what I'm doing here? I'm taking this drawer and I just press it. But I have to add more, I will add more. So more or less we finish here. Remember it doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be cut of the area here. Just to avoid the void here, you know, that it was here. That water will not go and stay here. Okay, and we create more than we do and other stuff. So that's why I'm actually doing it. Just make sure to clean everything here. And use this flat trowel just to flat it and flash it with the floor. As you can see, it's actually look very good. Just take the stuff here, clean it. So the correction is done and it will be cured in three hours.